Well, there is quite a bit going on in this risk asset sell-off that we have right now. As I speak to you, I've got the Russell down almost 2.4%. The S&P down 2.04%, the Dow down 2.03%, and the NASDAQ down 2.01%. Yields continue to rise, and they continue to rise more in the front end than the back end of the curve. The inversion, in other words, continues to deepen. We've now got the twos, tens, yield curve spread at negative 25 basis points. Again, potentially pointing to a recession sometime in the near futures, and it's all risk, risk assets that are being sold off. It's silver, it's crude oil, it's copper, it's most of the industrial metals. Cash euro is now decidedly below parity with the US dollar. The futures low today on the September futures contract, 1.000, so it hit parity, but didn't quite get below it. As we got stresses in Italy and their bond, uh, their bond issuances and their relationship with the EU under pressure. Again, also US jobless claims at its highest level since February of this year and has now been worse than analysts expected for six consecutive weeks. We also had US PPI today, which gave no relief to the Fed at all, coming out three tenths of a percent higher than expected. Now, the first bank earnings were released this morning. Big misses, JP Morgan and Morgan Stanley both missed. JP Morgan on some loan loss provisions that they had to put aside. They're now going to suspend buybacks in the stock. The stock is down. Morgan Stanley had weaker than expected investment bank earnings. That stock is down as well, although JPM is more down more than Morgan Stanley. And now looking ahead, Fed Governor Christopher Waller is speaking today. Earnings tomorrow before the open, United Health, Wells Fargo, and City. And then tonight, we get second quarter GDP in China. Tomorrow, we get retail sales figures in the U.S. Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic is speaking. We get industrial production. And then, not the least of which that we have coming out tomorrow, the preliminary July Michigan consumer sentiment and inflation expectations. Thank <laughs> you.